All right, so right now I'm gonna show you how to set up the lead scoring integration. And I actually wanna walk you through this and show you step-by-step -step how I'm going to do it. Uh, so this video may be a little bit longer, but I think it should be helpful for when you're doing this yourself. So again, just to set the stage at this point, I've got a list of companies, I've got a list of enriched contacts, and I also have these uh, merge fields, which are gonna go into my email automation tool. So now I'm simply going to click enrich data, look up lead score, look up score uh, and you'll see there's score row in play or score words in list i'm going to do the top first one i want to give a score to each row and let's say i'm going to have in this case four different lead score criteria so the first you'll see it's split into value comparison type keywords and score it's kind of a lot but as we go through it you should, you should start to get a pretty good idea of it so the first thing i want to do is I would like to score people based off of the number of LinkedIn followers, right? I'm trying to get a rough idea of um, just their public perception and how many people are kind of actively engaging with the brand online. And so I'm going to go to, let's see, where is this? Followers, follower count, right? And you'll see uh, the pound sign it kind of shows me that this is a numeric value. And so I'm going to use between number. Now in keywords, this is also kind of say you're grouping. And so if you read through this, this description below, it will kind of tell you exactly what I'm gonna tell you now. But for numbers, I'm basically setting up my core groups. So I'm gonna say I have 1,000 to 5,000 is one group, 5,001 to 10,000 is my second group and then 10,000 uh 10,001 to let's say just 30,000 is my third group right so i've established these are my three groupings now i just have to assign scores to each of those groupings so if they are 1,000 to 5,000 they get one point if they're 5,001 to 10,000 they get two points and if they're 10,001 to 30,000 they get three points Great, uh, moving on to this scoring criteria number two. This time I actually wanna look at the uh, contact themselves. So when I look into enriched person from LinkedIn profile, I'm going to select their title. And this time I'm using text shown by that little T and I'm gonna say contains. So if their title contains Let's say our top priority is sales, our second priority is finance, our third priority is CEO or founder, and then fourth priority, um, let's just stick with those. All right, so we've got three groupings. So again, if it contains sales, I'm gonna say three points. If it contains, let's scroll this down, finance, two points, and if it contains CEO or founder, one point. All right, scoring criteria number three. Uh, let's do if, let's do this based off of location this time, all right? So we're going to go to enriched person from LinkedIn profile, and we're gonna go to country. And this time we're going to say just if country equals X. In this case, I really just care if they're in the US. If they are in the US, I want to tack on an additional point there. And then lastly, let's do founded year. So I'm going to prioritize newer companies who potentially do not have as established tech stacks. Comparison type, this time I'm going to do between. And if, let's say the Founding date is between 2000 to 2017. That's one group, sorry, 2017. Then uh, if it is between 2018 to 2020, that's our third group. Then we've got 2021 to 2022, fourth group, and finally 2023. And so this time we're going uh, in order of kind of like worst to best. So. We're gonna go, let's just do half points here actually. So we can go 
half point for 2000 and then we're just going to go up by 0.5 increments 1 1.5 2 2.5 and something you just need to keep in mind is that for every group you have you need to have the same number of scores uh, meaning you know if we have we have one two three one two three four groups here and here we've actually got five scores right now so i'm going to remove the fifth one and now when we save changes and let's go ahead and just run this for the entire column you will see at the end awesome now we have scores for everybody and so now the really cool thing we can do is we can create specific views for each of the types of prospects. So I'm going to add a new view and I'm going to call these best quality leads. Oops. Best quality leads. And if we go back to this unfiltered view, Let's go ahead and let's pull out this lead score into its own column. The reason for this is it will allow us to filter it. And we're going to say, this is the final lead score. And the reason I did that is because now when I go into best quality leads, I can say filter by, and I can go to final lead score. And I'm going to say, if the final lead score is greater than four, these are our best quality leads. We've got four of them. Again, we can create another view and let's call this medium quality leads. Medium quality leads. Filter by, let's do the same thing with lead score, but this time let's say if it is, um, if final lead score is less than four and final lead score is greater than two. Right. Now we've got our second priority and we can do the same now for lower priority even. So just want to show you, it's a really cool way you can, again, score and prioritize leads. And uh, you may have seen this in the overview video that you we have already watched, but if you did not see that, you know, I've done this lead scoring at the very end, once I've already enriched leads, which is a little bit helpful, right? Because it gives me an idea of what I can prioritize, but a better way to do this would actually be to once I have enriched the companies, I can go ahead and run a lead score for all the different companies. And then only if the companies score high, will I then run further enrichments. So the lead scoring is great, obviously for you know internal use for you to get a better idea of who is high quality. But within Clay, the lead score provides you a really valuable metric um, that allows you to know which contacts and which accounts you want to further enrich versus which contacts slash accounts maybe don't score too high. And for those contacts or accounts, you just want to run them through scaled campaigns as opposed to running a ton of enrichments to then get to you know, really personalized merge fields, right? Yep. So if you have any questions, again, drop them in the Slack community or let us know. Thank you.